Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayers this Thursday, the 25th of January. That was Yesu Yesu, sung by the First Plymouth Congregational Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright in the congregation. Great are the deeds of the Lord. They are studied by all who delight in them. The hands of the Lord work faithfulness and justice. All the commandments of the Lord are sure. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Tonight we reach the end of the week of prayer for Christian unity. And this evening, our line is the one who was kind to him. You go then and do the same. You go then and do the same. That is a great line for us all. We have two other readings to share this evening. The first is from Romans 12, verses 9 to 13. Love must be completely sincere. Hate what is evil. Hold on to what is good. Love one another warmly as Christians and be eager to show respect for one another. Work hard and do not be lazy. Serve the Lord with a heart full of devotion. Let your hope be keep you joyful. Be patient in your troubles and pray at all times. Share your belongings with your needy fellow Christians and open your homes to strangers. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the psalm that has been chosen for today is the first two verses of Psalm 41. Happy are those who are concerned for the poor. The Lord will help them when they are in trouble. The Lord will protect them and preserve their lives. He will make them happy in the land. He will not abandon them to the power of their enemies. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And that Luke reading that we've been listening to for a week now, the story, the parable of the Good Samaritan, ends with the teacher of the law answered, the one who was kind to him. And Jesus replied, you go then and do the same. And the commentary says, through these words, go and do likewise, 
Jesus sends each of us and our churches to live out his commandment to love. Inspired by the Holy Spirit, we are sent out to be other Christs, reaching out to a suffering humanity in compassion and mercy. Like the Good Samaritan toward the injured man, we can choose not to reject those who are different, rather cultivating a culture of proximity and goodwill, actively seeking out and moving towards opportunities to be hospitable, to welcome and to share, in common task to bring the, to fruition the dream of God. In considering how Jesus had invitation to go and do likewise speaks to our own lives, we must not lose sight of the need for compassion and mercy in places we may not be willing to go or have no direct connection with, such as areas like Sahel region affected by intercommunal conflict. To truly be neighbours, our horizons must expand beyond that which does not cost us anything, encompassing the whole world as we intentionally strive for justice and unity, learning how Christ's love can visit us through the welcoming of others. Striving together for merciful unity helps rebuild relationships so that violence can give way to solidarity and peace. As mutual trust and confidence increase, we become more willing to reveal our wounds, including ecclesial word wounds, in the hope that Christ's love may visit and heal us through each other's love and care. And the reflection. After the cacophony was over, there was painful stillness. Moments of lucidness, punctuated with nothing. Breathless in the dirt, I pray. A hand upon my body, different from before, the intention of the touch, mindful of the pain still present, is to tend, not to harm. The smell of wine poured to soothe bittersweet, tannin in my mouth, the feeling of oil running down my skin, the wounds of the body, the meeting place for pain and peace, a balm for mind, body and soul. Blurred figures linger as I move weightless in unknown surroundings, yet the familiar touch of compassion, faint murmurs in unfamiliar tongues, promise care. This time, as I open my eyes, having never seen you before, I recognise your mercy. Let us pray. Mothering God, who holds the world in loving embrace, may we care for each other as you do, each and every soul. Holy Spirit, giver of life, open us to each other and strengthen our bonds of communion and grow us in mutual affection. Prince of Peace, give us the resolve to live out the gospel faithfully, that we may be radical welcomers and reconcilers. Amen. One of the things that we try to teach the children and model to the children and show the children in word and deed is to be kind. If we can be anything, be kind. And this scripture helps me to understand that God isn't asking us to go to war-torn places to make that difference. I can't do that physically or emotionally it's not in my remit to be able to do that. And so sometimes we feel so helpless. 
that we can't bring justice, that we can't help those who are wounded physically. But we can pray. And that is what we do night after night together. We hold these people in prayer. We ask God to unite this world in peace. We may feel sometimes that it's an unanswered prayer, that we ask and ask and ask, and still there is conflict, still there is sadness, still there is war. Yet God hears and answers, but in his time. What he doesn't want us to do is to stop. The minute we stop praying is the minute we stop caring. We pray for people that we know who live in our hearts. We pray for people we don't know who live in our hearts. We pray for people of the world who we don't know but who live in our hearts because they live in God's heart and he asks us to be as Christ, to go out and to share and to be and to live a life for him. May peace and unity come to this world when the time is right. In the meantime, let's go and do likewise and keep praying. Amen. A song to share with you. Help us accept each other by Fred Kahn. We need new eyes for seeing, new hands for holding on. Renew us with your spirit. Lord, free us. Make us one. Amen. Let us pray. Living God, in you there is no darkness. Shed upon us through this night the light of your forgiveness, your healing and your peace, that when we wake from sleep, we may know once more the brightness of your presence. Through our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. God of glory, you nourish us with your word, which is the bread of life. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, that through us the light of your glory may shine in all the world. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now we come to our cycle of prayer for this East Midlands Synod. And this evening we pray for the ministers, elders and members of our churches in Northamptonshire. Before we move to the names of people that have asked us to pray for their loved ones, this evening I googled, where is there war in the world? 
and this is what it said. Russia and Ukraine are at war. Afghanistan, Ethiopia, Iraq, Yemen, Syria, Somalia, Libya and the Central African Republic, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Myanmar, Colombia and Mali are currently in civil wars. Gaza, the wider Middle East and Sudan are at war. Currently there are 32 countries who are at war. We pray for a peaceful resolution to all of the situations in each of the places that we have just heard. We pray that people will unite, people will work for peace and peace and unity will be restored in God's earth, in God's kingdom and in our world. as we pray for resolutions for conflict, we also pray for the care and concern of those we love. We pray tonight with Brendan, Brenda Kenyon, for Ron Kenyon. We pray with Celia for her grandson Alfie, recovering and back at school. We pray for my parents, for the Reverend Brian Russell and my mum, Dorothy Russell. Dad remains in hospital, but we had good news today. For the first time in seven weeks, he's stood up. Thank you. We pray for the Reverend Helen Wakefield Carr for recovery from cancer surgery and strength for ongoing treatment. Pray for the Reverend Liz Adams, the Reverend Hamish Temple, for Jean Schenk and for the Reverend Brian Schenk in his care and concern for her. We pray for the Reverend Graham and Vera Mastery and for Father Andy, Moynier's parish priest. We pray for Barbara Turner in her recovery, for Janet Clarkson as she recovers from her stroke, with Claire, Abby and Spencer, for Chris who has had positive results. We pray with Anktea for her friend Bea and her friend Magdalene. We pray with the Reverend Claire and the Reverend Brian Davison for Susie, their daughter. We pray for Cheryl and for Prince and the family in their ongoing care of her. We pray with Andy for Mike, his dad, and for Liz and Ruth in their ongoing care of him. We pray for John and for Irene as she continues to look after him. We pray for Jan and our Trinity Church, Lincoln, for Helen. And we pray for all those who grieve the passing of loved ones. We pray with the Reverend Tom Schumann for members of the Stuber family in their grief. We pray for those who grieve for Jean Davison, especially her son, the Reverend Brian Davison, and the family. We pray for those who grieve for Norma Bradshaw, widow of the Reverend Tony Bradshaw, especially for the members of her family and our church at Wellingborough. We pray for those who grieve for the Reverend Cecil McCauley, especially for Pat, his wife. And we pray for those who grieve for Don Buxton, especially the Reverend Maureen Buxton. And might I add at the prayer this evening that we pray for all of the young people and the leaders who are going to be sharing a weekend at Youth Assembly from tomorrow to Sunday. May the Lord bless them in all that they do. May God be with them for the whole of the weekend. May they discern what he wants of them. May their prayer time be a time to reflect on what this world is going through and how those young people can make a difference. 
And we thank you for the United Reformed Church, that they have things in place for our young people so that they may have a voice. Father, be with them all this weekend and always. Amen. And now we say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And, <clears throat> excuse me, what better song, what better hymn, what better words to hear as we finish our time together this evening than asking the Lord to make us a channel of his peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, let your pardon, Lord. And where there's darkness, only light. Let's listen to make me a channel of your peace. May we be the people that God wants us to be, calls us to be, wants us to be, and let us want to be that for him. The Lord bless us with his grace and fill us with his peace. Amen and good night. <laughs>